the batteries are charged to heat hot water. It's a little difficult to do electronically, but we know how to do that, and that's important to do. Having some way to secure windows and doors. I have a strategy, for example, where the homes that we design or the ones that we remodel, we harden that master bedroom door and jam so that nobody can burst into that bedroom, even if they gain access to your house. We try to design houses, for example, where the children can get to the master bedroom without having to go through the main stairway or the main hallway. Then from that master bedroom, they can get downstairs into a shelter system without having to once again come out of the master bedroom into the hallway where an intruder might be. These are the kinds of strategies that are important in designing a home or remodeling a home that really make a difference between a home that doesn't operate in a crisis and one that does. Obviously, we try to integrate in generating facilities, uh, and I, I like to make sure that generators don't run constantly. problem with automatic generator transfer switches is once they turn on, the generator keeps running whether you're using electricity, electricity or not, and it uses a lot of fuel. So we like to design systems so that you can shut down that generator once it starts and use it twice a day to charge things up, use a battery bank or a solar system for the small electricity between those times. Those are the kinds of things that allow you to live off the grid without the $100,000 that it normally takes for an off the grid home. In other words, using minimum off the grid techniques rather than trying to spend a whopping amount of money to have total off the grid homes. So we use electricity while we've got it. We're prepared to run at a minimal level once that electricity is gone. And uh, with multi-fuel, uh, contingency for operating the various systems of the house. We also deal a lot with windows security as well. Uh, if you have strong doors, metal doors and metal jams on the outside, you need to look to the windows, the weak link. Um, and there's a multiplicity of window treatments. They are rather difficult, expensive to do some of them, but at least we can use polycarbonate acrylic sheeting on windows to stop vandalism from happening. We can prepare with mylar sheeting to uh, cover broken windows if they get broken during the window uh, during the winter time when you might lose all of your heat. And we also have designs for gravel wall construction, for example, a very economical way to make bulletproofing of walls an alternative. It's not so much that you're trying to make the home a fortress, but sometimes if people take pot shots at you if they're resentful of you having electricity and they don't. It's nice to have walls that you can actually hide behind and feel safe behind than, than the typical wood frame wall of which bullets pass right through. You know, you see all those movies about cowboys and Indians and people hiding behind the walls in a gun, 